Getting more done with less effort and in less time. Why are you in business? Most of us are in business to make money. We will spend the majority of our adult life working. The time we spend on a daily basis is typically spent working, especially if you're in a leadership role, in charge of a team, or running your own business. You're going to be investing more and more hours in that business than you possibly do in any other area of your life. So with that said, having joy, fulfillment, happiness, being inspired, being enthusiastic, that's really the key to how you spend your time. And of course, making money goes right alongside of that. And why wouldn't you? So this video is all about how to get more done with less effort and also how to get more done with less time. So who is this video for? This video is for entrepreneurs that are Money, running multiple businesses, maybe you have your interests in a variety of, of areas. It's for team leaders. It's for people in charge of regions, divisions, companies. It is for those that really want to increase their productivity. And this is typically why clients come to me. They come to me to have a greater ROI in their business so they can actually look at their investment and say, yeah, I'm getting a really great inv uh, return on my investment here. They're looking to attract inspired and enthusiastic team members. They're looking to increase their coaching and leadership skills to inspire those team members to perform at greater levels. They're looking to grow the business and expand the footprint. They might be in an inflection point and they need some guidance to get to that next level. They might be rebranding or reorging their, their entire company. There's a variety of reasons that co companies and clients come to me. And of course, perhaps the main reason is all about mindset. So when we talk about effort, getting more done with less effort, that also relates to getting more done in less time. Let's unpack the word effort. First of all, effort could be perceived as being something that means it's hard or it's difficult. My favorite saying is the only difference between hard work and struggle is negative emotion. So are you efforting or are you enjoying the journey? So stick with me, I'm Deborah Peters. Welcome back to The Deborah Peters Show. And in this video, I'm gonna completely unpack this whole notion of getting more done with less effort and in less time. So let me break it down to you in a few pivotal steps, because this could be multiple videos. And I wanna make this as concise as possible so you can start implementing these tools as quickly as possible and get the greatest results as you possibly can. First of all, it really is about having clarity of mind. Without really knowing your why, when it gets challenging, when it gets tough, when you don't know the answer to something, then it's so easy to start to distract yourself with busy work, like checking email, checking out your social media, chatting up a colleague, running something by someone that you really don't need feedback on. You know, all the time filler stuff that you could actually look back on the, the process of the day and you could possibly justify having needing to spend that time engaged in that activity. However, that's not producing new results for you. And this is the biggest piece that we want to look at is your why. It's really important to have a why that you can connect to that when you start every single day, no matter what comes across your path, no matter what comes across your plate, you see it as an opportunity to grow, to expand, and you leverage it and you actually step into it and you turn it into a possibility. You turn it into a blessing. So with that said, 
I like to have all of my clients set up their day in advance. So you've got your why, you, you have your end goal, you have clarity of purpose. And so having a morning routine that actually sets the stage for that is really the key. I've talked so much in my videos about the necessity to meditate in the morning. I even have a video on my channel that talks about my weekly routine and then I broke it down into days and I shared with you my fitness routine, I shared with you some information about my nutrition. I didn't go into detail, but I gave you an idea of where I'm coming from, what perspective I have on that. And then I shared some basic tips on how to get my mind into a productive place so that I'm running my day instead of my day running me. So you might want to go back through some of my videos and start to look through. There's a med couple meditation videos. There's my weekly and daily routine video. And there's tons of information on the value of setting the tone for your day and getting your mind into the right space so that when you step into your day, you're not allowing yourself to be distracted by all kinds of elements that are outside of the purpose and the focus of your day. Next is really truly about focus. So when we have this understanding of where we're headed, we have the clarity on our end goal. We know what we're driving toward. Being able to focus on that is really critical. So I did a video on multitasking in case you haven't heard, multitasking is dead. It, I don't really feel it was ever productive. In fact, I think it really contributed to how easily we allow ourselves to get distracted by social media, by conversations about what's going wrong in the world, by politics, by all of these external things that really do completely distract us from what it is that we're looking to create and achieve in our lives. And this one tool can enable you to get a lot more done with a lot less effort in a lot less time than you could ever possibly imagine. You could probably cut your day in half. You could probably take an eight hour day and cut it into four hours and go play for the other four hours of the day. You could probably take a 40 hour work week and deduce it down to 20 hours of really focused time. And you could have the other 20 hours to go do something in your personal life that inspires you. All right, so multitasking, it's the, it's the antithesis to success, I believe. So cut out, cut out the multitasking. All right, now the next thing is chunking. I did a video a while back on how to literally map and engineer your goals. And it was at the beginning of January when everybody's talking about New Year's resolutions. And I basically just nailed down exactly what it is that you can do to create the 2020 that you want to create, to create this decade of the 20s that you want to create. And I literally gave you the steps and it's called reverse engineering. So you want to get in there and you want to start applying that to your goals. So first of all, you've got this scope of vision. You've got your morning routine. You've got your focus. You have this understanding of where you want to be by a certain time and it's measurable and you can attach key activities to it. So that's my next point is you want to attach key activities to that end goal. And in order to do that, you have to be able to chunk down your big picture goal into achievable steps. Because without that chunking process, that big picture goal will remain such a big effort or such a big colossal achievement that you will 
quite possibly not even take action on it and spin your wheels. So that's the biggest thing that I see, you know, how do we eat a whole pizza while we eat it one bite at a time? But before we take that first bite, we cut it into slices. So think about your goals just like that. You want to chunk them down into achievable steps and you want to have the right key activities that drive those steps. And without that in place, <laughs> that big goal will always remain that elusive big goal. So with the focus, and now you've got the chunking, now it's really about staying in alignment. What is alignment? Alignment is a it's like, you know, you're being in, you're being in a river and, you, and you're letting the river guide you downstream. You're, you're in the flow of things where instead of fighting and making things happen and grinding it out, you're actually in this state of inspiration. You're in a state of enthusiasm. And with that said, now you're just so incredibly productive because you're aligned with that goal you're aligned with those chunks of achievement and you're enjoying the process it is a joy it is inspiring to know that what steps you're taking are actually contributing to this bigger picture of your business and of your life and of your team and it creates more creativity and resourcefulness in your mind Next, and most importantly, is time blocking. Now, not everyone likes time blocking, and I've been one of those people that has never, in the past, really subscribed much to the concept of time blocking, because I'm a very creative person, and I like the flow of creativity. However, you have to have some framework to work within. So. I, what I'm saying to you is you're not going to time block so harshly that there's no room for creativity. What I am saying is that within these blocks of time, you have a focus and that focus uh, influences your key activities. And then those key activities drive toward that end goal in the chunk and in the bigger picture. Now you've with that morning routine, some people, they start their morning at 5 a.m. Some people start their morning at 8 a.m. Some people start, I, I know I have quite a few clients that start their day at 10 a.m. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. You don't have to fit into the TikTok of society and you certainly don't have to fit into the status quo. If you're working for a company, this is a negotiation point that you're gonna to wanna to have when you start the job. And, and maybe that'll be a deal breaker, maybe it won't. That's up to you and that's up to them and your negotiation with them. If you own your own company, it could also be something similar where you, you have an understanding up front in terms of the flow and the rhythm to the work ethic that takes place within that organization. Personally, I'm super sharp in the morning. So I'm up at five, I meditate, I jump into some sweats, I go for a power walk. Part of my regular routine is to get outdoors and get as much air as possible every single day because it just clears my mind. And then I come back, shower, do my supplements, write down my goals and intentions for the day. I rewrite them sometimes, I make my targets. I determine what I'm grateful for. And all the while I'm on my walk, I'm having that conversation with myself as well. So your morning routine might start at five, your morning routine might start at seven. It's up to you. You really just have to find the rhythm that works for you. But I will tell you this, if you wanna get more done, you start earlier. And some people are nocturnal and they like working late into the night. The challenge with that is when you're in business, if there's phone calls you need to have in the morning, you're not gonna be able to have those phone calls because you're just not gonna be up and on it. 
I have a lot of clients in Europe and the UK, so early morning calls are not foreign. In fact, they're the norm. Next is about your reset button. We all need to hit the reset button throughout the day. It's not reasonable to think that you start in the morning and you go full on hardcore for eight hours and then you shut off. Human body can't sit in a chair for that long and pardon me, you can't hold your focus for that long. So it really is about being in the right flow for you. I like to take breaks every 90 minutes. I get up, leave my desk, grab a glass of water, maybe I walk around my office, see what everybody's up to, check in, sometimes I go outside. It's not a long break, five, 10 minutes, just enough to hit the reset button and to get back into a, a new, fresh perspective in my flow. So there's the top keys that I have for you in how to become more efficient, how to get more done with less effort, and how to get more done in less time. This is a part of your business model. It's part of your business strategy. And if you like this content, please subscribe and share it with your tribe. Give me a thumbs up, make some comments. I'd like to know what it is that you do in your day and in your week to make things run efficiently and smoothly and to hit your goals and your objectives. Now, if this is something that you find to be beneficial, I do run online classes and I have an online course coming up late January. You can catch that in the description box. I'll put the link. It's the Mind Mastery Revenue Accelerator Masterclass. And then I have a live boot camp for business leaders where we get into business strategy and we get into mindset and we get into your business model. And that's coming up in March on the 20th and the 21st of March. And I will also put that link below. So thank you so much for being here today. This is the Deborah Peters Show. And it is my pleasure to bring this to you and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.